for tuning in. This is Dog Mom Prepper. I'm going to get started today by doing video number one in a three-part series. Video number one is on how to choose your backpack. Video two is on how to train and desensitize your dog to wear the backpack and enjoy it. And video three is going to be on how to pack the backpack for an emergency bug out plan. So let's get started with the first thing you need to decide, and that's what you're using the backpack for. Are you using it for training and exercise purposes? Are you using it for hiking, or are you using it for a bug out situation? Once you decide what you're using the backpack for, and in some cases it may be all three. I use these backpacks for all three reasons. When I'm doing fostering or adoption processing, I'll use it for exercise and uh, training the dogs to have a job to do. This is not a training video, so I'm not going to get into that too much, but I really enjoy hiking and camping. So does my family, so we use it for that as well, which is a really great opportunity to train your dogs and practice with your dogs for bug out situations, for being exposed to the elements, for enduring long walks with carrying the weight. So let's get into some of the features that are on these backpacks and why you might make certain decisions on certain backpacks and some of the things that you feel that you may need or may not need in these backpacks. The first thing that you're going to find with these backpacks is the material that they're made out of. I prefer the materials that are uh, water resistant. They're not completely waterproof and I do not do not recommend spraying them to be waterproof. That just adds an extra chemical irritant for the dog um, that is not necessary. This particular backpack is about six years old. It is an Outward Hound brand, which is one of my favorite brands. It was one of the very first companies to make these canine backpacks for serious reasons uh, that are made to withstand some weather, some wear and tear. Um, it's just a great backpack. This particular one has been uh, dropped in a pond, it was covered in scum, it has been rolled in dead fish, it has been forgotten in the car in the Florida heat for three months in the trunk and still did not get any weather rot. It does not hold odors. It is awesome. This is one of the older versions of the Outward Hound backpack. One of the things that I look for in the backpacks is to make sure that it does have two pockets. You would think that that was pretty obvious, but I have seen some backpacks that only have one pocket. That's completely a useless item for two reasons. One, you want to maximize the space that you have. And two, you need to make sure that when your pet is wearing this, it is balanced weight on both sides of the backpack. Um, having uneven weight on it with it not being distributed it's going to slide it's going to cause skin irritations and it's going to cause joint pain in the shoulders and in the back and we do not want that especially if you're enduring a long hike or a couple of days of camping you don't want a dog that's uncomfortable or in pain so that's one of the things that you want to look for very obviously make sure it has two pockets in it some of the other features that these backpacks have is this gray strip on the front is a reflector strip. I like re reflector strips. Not all of them have it on there. Uh, some backpacks these days are made more for fashion than function. I prefer the ones that are made for function. It should have the reflector strip on both sides of the backpack. One of the other things that I look for is color. And again, this is about function, not fashion. They do make these backpacks in camo. They make them in pink, blue, purple, green, every color under the rainbow, the rainbow color, everything. I am a little bit old fashioned with it. I prefer the plain red ones. They used to only come in the color red. I think it's the best color for them. If you have a dog that's wearing a camo backpack, although it's great for um, hiding purposes, it is not great for emergency situations. I want to be able to find my dog. This is not a color often found in nature. They do make them in bright orange as well. That's another option for you. I just happen to prefer the red ones. It hides a little bit more dirt than the orange ones do. But like I said, in an emergency situation, I want to find my dog. I'm going to see this color. The other thing that I add to it, getting away from the features that they have, but this red bone right here is a blinking light. I replace it about every three months, whether it's daylight out or not when we are outdoors with these backpacks. 
this little red bone is blinking. It's just another added safety feature that I put on my backpacks to make sure that I have that extra chance of, of finding my dog should they get lost or injured. These things are really inexpensive. You can find them pretty much anywhere, the dollar store, Walmart, um, occasionally CVS. If you go to dog events to any of the pet expos, a lot of times they're giving these away. So I hoard these. I collect these and I use them all the time. Getting back to the features, one of the things that I like in my own backpacks is that they have this little hook here. This little hook inside the backpack, I went camping with my dogs in the preserve one day and lost my car key. I mean lost it, could not find it anywhere. Had I actually thought to use the feature that was in the backpack, we would have had an extra copy of that car key and we would not have waited six hours for somebody to get a hold of us uh, and take us out of the preserve. So this is for car keys. <laughs> Use them. So that's one of the features that I look for in backpacks. Um, let's see. This little strap here, this is on the older versions of backpacks. They don't put these, they don't seem to anyway, put these bungees on the top of these backpacks anymore. I really like them. If they don't have it, I add it to them. But this, when we go camping or long hiking, uh, we have the dogs carry their own bedding. This works great for that. It rolls up really nicely right on, on sticks underneath these bungees. That's what these are for. The only downside to that is that this little pocket under here is a grab your dog just in case handle. This is, there's an emergency, you need to pull that dog away from danger, extra grab it handle. I really like these. All the backpacks should come with these now. Um, it used to be that Outward Hound was the only one that did have it. A lot of people didn't know what it was for. It is not just for hanging it on a coat rack. It is actually an emergency handle. The other thing that I enjoy about this handle is that it is Velcro pocket to hold the leash. So the dog's collar is up here. It adds that extra step of safety. The leash will come down over the backpack harness. Velcro it closed, and it makes it a lot more comfortable and gives you that extra step of protection for your pet with holding the leash. So we really enjoy this feature on them also. Some of these backpacks do come with a D-ring up here to connect the leash directly to the backpack. I do not recommend that. Uh, most of these backpacks, at least the good quality ones, are actually a harness underneath the backpack. This extra clasp up here, if you undo this, disconnects the backpack from the harness. So it will just pull apart. That's a feature that I like about these backpacks, but for safety reasons, do not use the D-rings that are on the backpacks. If that dog pulls, this comes unsnapped, you have a backpack and no dog. So be very, very careful with those. This harness that's underneath, I really like the fact that if we're out hiking for long periods of time, I have uh, two senior dogs, actually three senior dogs now, and a puppy, an adolescent, and so we have to take frequent stops when we're out with them. The um, boxer that uses this backpack has arthritis, um, doesn't slow her down at all, but being able to take a break and take the uh, pressure off from her joints by removing this backpack is important to me. Not all of them have it, most of them do, but that's something that I look for when I'm looking for a backpack also. The extra feature that I like about backpacks, and not all of them have it, so you do need to look for it, but it's this comfort pad right here. These buckles are very large, and they are built tough. They're made to withstand a lot. So they're very big. If you can imagine, even on a short-haired dog, but more on an northern breed or German Shepherd, if their hair gets stuck in this, it's not coming out except for out of their skin. This thing does not let go. So having this extra little pad that's connected here, underneath the buckle in between your dog's skin or coat in this buckle is, is a big deal to me. Sometimes you can get them to add them on that Velcro. They don't stay as well, so I like the ones that are already built in, but that's just an extra feature with the backpacks that I personally look for. These straps here, because dogs come in all sizes, these straps are adjustable not only between the harness and the clasp,
but also between the clasps also. So it leaves for a lot of extra room. I'm going to go ahead and take this apart since it's coming loose. Um, and we fold these up and zip tie them. We don't cut them. You never know when you're going to need this for another purpose or might even need the extra rope off from them. But there's a lot of extra string hanging from these. So we just simply fold them up, zip tie them. Remember when zip tying though, that this little sharp edge here, you're going to want to make sure you cut that off and burn it or sand it so that it's nice and smooth and make sure that the buckle portion of your zip tie is on the outside not pressing up against the pet skin that's an extra irritant that you don't need uh, and you just want to make sure that you can do everything you can to make sure that when they are wearing their backpacks that they're safe and that they're comfortable so that's a little tidbit on that so those are some of the things that I look for in backpacks I did recently see that they do have a new backpack version out that is a hydration pack. It is a camel pack tote for dogs. It is a great idea. Some people suggest that they wear it underneath these backpacks so that you have that extra uh, water supply for your pet. I personally do not recommend that. Those water camel pack backpacks don't even have uh, any safety features on them. They're more to keep the pet cool, which is a great idea, but if you're doing heavy duty uh, anything it's it's not a great solution so again depending on what you're doing it might be the right solution for you you might want to look those up I'm gonna try and find the link for them and post it down below so you guys can check it out my dogs when we go out and when we use this for our bug out plan they have water pouches in their bags. so we're gonna go over that in video 3 so the camel pack for our situation isn't uh, necessarily a big deal so that's that's that on these backpacks. If you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Just a quick little video on how to choose your backpack. Everything from the material that it's made out of to the color that it is. I'm really looking forward to making video two. You're going to get a chance to kind of see some of my dogs. You're going to get to see these backpacks in action, how they wear them, um, what's the best way to get them to fit, and you can actually see how much the dogs enjoy using them. So, I hope you guys have subscribed. I hope you liked the video. I'm really looking forward to making video two probably by the end of the week, and I'm super excited about making video three. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good night.